Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a newsletter on Shopify. So how to add that email newsletter sign up to your Shopify store as well as how to go about sending those newsletters to those email subscribers, how to get email subscribers, where those go on your Shopify store as well. So that's going to be showing you here in today's tutorial. And before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store in the Shopify dashboard. Next, you're going to come over here to online store. And then we're going to be editing the theme. Now, depending on what theme that you are currently using, this may look a little bit different. Currently, I am using the Dawn theme on Shopify. This is utilizing the online store 2.0 OS 2.0 Shopify setup. So it is the most current and up-to-date theme. Of course, there's a bunch of other different free themes that you can use on Shopify. Currently, I'm using the Dawn theme again. Once you have your theme, of course, then you just come over here to the green box here and select customize. That will bring us here to the section where we can add sections to our Shopify store. So to add the email newsletter, the adding a newsletter sign up form to our Shopify store, uh, you could do this by going, scrolling down over here on the left hand side, and then you're going to see this, the thing that says add section, this button, you're going to click that add section, then you're going to select email sign up. And boom, there we go. We have a way to collect uh, emails for our email newsletter for our Shopify store. So that is where it is currently added. Now, by default, you will have a smaller one down here in the footer on the Dawn theme on Shopify. Uh, so people can still subscribe to emails there, but I know a lot of you guys want to add the bigger, like, hey, you know, subscribe to our newsletter here, this big box. That's how you do it. You add this little section, email sign up. You can also edit some of the color scheme if you want to change out like the overall look and feel. Depending on the color theme settings that you have selected, uh, this will look a little bit different for you. So uh, let's go with the uh, default, which is just the background one. You can also feel free to change the padding if you want to make it, you know, smaller or bigger on the top or the bottom, depending on what you want it to look like. Uh, in addition to that as well, you can change out the text. If you want to here to subscribe to our emails, you can change the size. If you want it small, medium or large. Uh, you can also edit the text here just by clicking on the little description. Uh, if you want to change that, maybe you say, hey, sign up for our email newsletter or something like that. Uh, and then you can also, ed uh, obviously there's no editing the email uh, form there, uh, but that's what you could do. Now you can also drag this around too on your homepage if you want this to uh, appear maybe closer to the top or maybe after a featured selection. But I know most of you guys probably just want this kind of towards the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it where the default is. Now, you can add this to any page that you have selected where you can add sections. So if you're adding sections, uh, that's how you do it to add the email sign up. Now, to actually send out uh, emails and where do people's emails actually go as well. So we're going to go ahead and click save now that we have the sign up form on our home page. And I'll show you what it looks like as well. Now, this can take a second. We're just going to go ahead and refresh the home page here. Uh, and it should appear down at the bottom. So as you can see here, subscribe to our emails now is on the store uh, on the home page. And we're going to go ahead and type in uh, a little email here. Uh, we'll just put in my uh, email there. We're going to go ahead and click the next button. And boom, then it will come up with a little thanks for subscribing. Uh, once your email is entered or your customer emails are entered into the uh, email subscription, that's what it will show. Now, if we go into the back end of Shopify, we're going to go ahead and exit the theme editor. Uh, then you come over here to customers and boom, as you can see, there is the customer name for the email that I put in here. Of course, you can use any kind of emails that you want. Just that's where the uh, collected emails will go. So this is where the customer information is stored and saved uh, in your customer database on Shopify. You can also import and export emails here as well for your newsletter if you want to add customer data. Or maybe if you're migrating from another platform or maybe if you already have been using something like MailChimp uh, to collect emails, uh, you can import and export things here as well. Now to click into the customer information, 
information. As you can see, of course, this customer hasn't placed any orders. It will save that data uh, as well as the marketing status. Of course, email subscribed, uh, no SMS, but uh, we do, this is currently all the customer data that you have, and it will be saved based on the email address that a given customer uses on your store. So once you have that information here, of course, this is where it will be collected. Now to actually send a newsletter, I'm gonna be showing you that right now, to actually send a newsletter after you've collected uh, emails on your online store, that next you're going to come over here to the marketing tab, and that will bring open this section here. And then all you have to do is go ahead and click create campaign. And then we're gonna do Shopify email. Now this is the built-in Shopify email app that comes with Shopify, it's free to use, although only up to a certain amount. Of course, as you can see here, 10,000 free emails per month. And then after that, it's a dollar per thousand additional emails. Uh, so if you're smaller, just starting out, great, it's free. But if you do need to send more emails, they do charge you for that. So uh, bear that in mind, depending on how many emails you're planning on sending out on your Shopify store. Uh, but this is how you can create emails and share promotions and updates with your customers that are subscribed to your email list in your Shopify store on your newsletter. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that for Shopify email, and this will bring up the Shopify email editor in which there are a bunch of different templates that you can use in your Shopify store uh, to update your customers, whether it's new arrivals of new products, whether it be blank, if you just wanna uh, start from scratch, you can create your own, uh, or if you wanna utilize their templates. Now, the colors will be based on the theme uh, colors that you have set in your Shopify store. So that's where this red is coming from because I have some red colors in my uh, theme editor. Uh, now, if you want to change that, of course, you just go into your theme editor. Like I showed you before, you just click the little paintbrush icon uh, as I moused over previously. Uh, but if you want to manage the template branding here, you can also do that as well. Uh, if you want to change the colors manually uh, outside of what's just by default in your Shopify store, uh, you could also do that here, of course. You just click on that, change the colors right here on the fly if you want to change out. Uh, maybe you want something a little different for the button colors. Uh, maybe we'll go with like a little blue or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe a, sort of a charcoal or black, right? There's a whole bunch of different colors that you could go with for your store. Of course, just depends on your branding. You can also upload your logo here. Of course, I don't have a logo. This is just a test store for tutorials, but you can also add your, your overall email branding here uh, for your store and your store name as well. So we're gonna go ahead and discard those changes. We're gonna go back. As you can see, there are a bunch of different templates. So you have new arrivals, blank, product restock, sale announcement, discount if you have discounts, um, products, installment, end of sale, uh, end of the year sale or something like that. We can go ahead and click through here, uh, upcoming events, uh, tons of different types of email and now maybe a spring sale, uh, a Black Friday, anything holiday gift guide. This is where you can uh, create your emails. And of course, like I said before, if you do want to just start from scratch, they do have the blank email template uh, that you can utilize. So we'll select new arrivals. Uh, as a test one here, we're gonna go ahead and select that. And then this is where it will load up your email that will then get sent out to your customers, of course. Now, um, it will send to all your subscribers, as you can see here, um, all your subscribers, or you can also select it to just be to maybe certain people who haven't purchased something, or if it's an abandoned checkout or other detailed information, your customer data will be segmented here as far as uh, your subscribers to your email newsletter. You can select, if you just want to send it, blast it out to everyone that signs up on your uh, email uh, newsletter subscription section here, then you could feel free to blast it out, of course, and you can edit this here, add little sections too, if you want to add uh, text or if you just want to edit in any way. Uh, that's where you do it as well as far as like marketing your products and remarketing to customers that sign up for your email newsletter. Again, you can just use the blank template if you're just trying to send like some text or some basic information off to your customers as well. But I, I do like the templates and the design section uh, is pretty nice and easy to use as well. If you want to like add little sections like a button, an image, a discount, uh, an express checkout, as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different, um, you can add your little products here if you wanna add that too. Um, so there's really a whole bunch of different uh, information that you can add. 
course, this is like a little express checkout if you want people to be able to check out right from the email. Uh, you also have the ability to add additional sections too. So maybe you wanna add one sort of towards the top. You click here, you can add text, buttons, images, dividers, spacers, discounts, gift card, products, image with text, multi-column, express checkout, and custom code if you are into that kind of thing too. So really a bunch of different types of ways that you can add and customize your emails. Of course, the world is up to you to how you want ever you want to customize and edit your emails, but this is how you do it. And then all you have to do is click review. Um, of course, what well, we need is you do need a subject line. So we're just going to go test. We're going to go ahead and review that here. Um, once we review it, and I guess we have already reviewed it. Oh, affiliate. Okay, so we can't send emails here on this current Shopify plan because it is just a test store for tutorials, but that's what you do. You click the green button that says review, uh, or you could even send out a test email, but this is how you go about doing it. Of course, you can also test it and see how it looks on mobile too. Uh, if you're interested in that as well, but this is how you do it. This is how you uh, collect the emails on your Shopify store. Like I showed you how to add the little email signup form for your email newsletter. And then this is how you send those emails out to your email subscribers. So guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And before before, before we go, I do want to mention, again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brandonvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to get started with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful on how to uh, add those email newsletters to your Shopify store, how to add a newsletter to your Shopify store, and then how to send said newsletter to your email customers and subscribers. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.